There I go. I'm watching that. Viral restaurant owner returns to Tucker after having business shut down. That was, what, three days ago? Of course, throwing the word viral in there has heavy implications. But go watch that view for yourself. It's just an example of how idiots going overboard in this whole fucked up situation just portrays and reveals the decaying corruption lying underneath the surface of their existence. Seriously, the governor wasted month, a whole month of finding that guy's business, a restaurant. <clears throat> Isn't that essential to be, get people food? By the way, finding a restaurant, thousands of dollars every day. Just because he said, no, I'm not going to close down permanently and put thousands of people out of a job just because you, you want to do whatever. <laughs> Seriously, when does it end? When, when does the, the terrorism of the commonplace person by the haves, when do the haves stop terrorizing and tormenting the have-nots? Seriously. Just listen to what he said. Think about it. And it's not going to help to get all pissed off about it anymore. Because it's just going to keep getting worse. There's no point in calling them governors and shit. The, the managers of this shithole. They're just worse and worse every day. It's not getting better. And it's not going to get better. It's just going to keep getting worse. <clears throat> just like the uh, the managers in D.C. going on permanent fucking vacation. I mean, they just got back from a vacation last week, and they're supposed to be talking about a stimulus, and they've got, what, two or three days until they go on vacation for the rest of the fucking year? All of December... They're going to be on permanent fucking vacation. They don't care. I know, George Carlin said it years ago. He just looked the audience in the face and he drove it in real hard and real heavy. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They do not care about you. So, now you see the proof. They never did care. They don't have your best interest in their minds or hearts. Because if they did, they, they wouldn't be on permanent fucking vacation. There would have already been a second, a third, maybe even a fourth stimulus check going out to people. Restrictions like that on restaurants wouldn't have happened at all. Yeah, they would have... The, the, the state managers would have gone out and helped a cleaning crew sanitize and sterilize i know it, it sounds similar but they're two different things that are very similar within the the medical field they would have done both of them they would have sanitized and sterilized all the touchable surfaces they would have helped do that Instead of just shutting things down and saying, fuck you, I don't care. But 
They don't care. Don't get angry about it. Don't get sad or depressed about it. It's not worth it. I'm kind of at a loss for words, really. Because using big fancy words just doesn't convey anything. And I've been trying to in integrate what George Carlin said about soft language into my own vernacular, my own way of talking. Cut out the unnecessary big fancy words that dehumanize and take all the life out of life. Just trying to cut that out. And with a brain as random and running on chaos theory as mine, that's a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at myself on this one. Go ahead, laugh. <laughs> laugh with me at myself for that one. <clears throat> Have a good laugh with that one. Anyway, I've, I've given suggestions like for fucking Garcetti just go off and start distributing cleaning supplies clean some shit yourself stop whinging on about it and being a terrorist and a tyrant doesn't matter I don't think anybody shared that video with him I don't think anybody uh, cared to quite honestly I already know YouTube's got my channel under a fucking blacklist There's not much else to say. Because it's already too late. Because these people, these managers, they've done the damage emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, and mentally to everyone. They've already vilified. They've already made themselves look like a horrible piece of shit in the eyes of the commonplace public. So there's no way I can help them redeem themselves because... Of the thing that everyone calls the court of public opinion. So I can't help these people. It's already too late for that. Well, I can tell the rest of you. Don't get upset. Don't get pissed off. Don't get angry. Don't get sad. Don't let it affect you. Because, I had a chat with Satan some time ago, back when we saw the zombie craze come out in mainstream and infected and almost took over the video game section, and he posed the question, why don't we just give humanity this virus, this, this zombie apocalypse that they want and I said you know what dude let's fucking do it I'm tired of this nonsense and humanity's never gonna learn so go ahead do it that's what this thing you call the coronavirus is no it's not gonna happen quickly even though it spread pretty quickly going to turn everyone into a fucking zombie. And the people who commissioned him to make the virus, they know that. And they're already hiding in their bunkers. Now, yeah, that's why they, they stop controlling everything. The top five or so people who controlled literally everything on the planet. So I'm just waiting. Waiting for the for the situation to go completely tits up. I'm 
There's nothing that can be done against it. It's gonna happen. It's already been bought and paid for by the, the top five or so people who ruined everything on the planet to begin with. It's already been endorsed and indoctrinatively propaganded or brainwashed into everyone who was dumb enough to believe the CDC and the WHO when they were saying, wear a mask, no, wait, don't wear a mask. Quite honestly, it, it's not going to have any impact on it. It's still spreading and it's still getting faster as it spreads. Or at least the, the bits that are detectable. It's already too late to do anything. It's already too late to change and stop being a bitch and stop being a horrible, corrupt piece of shit. Because the people who've done that have already made themselves look like a horrible piece of shit in the so-called court of public opinion. They can't change that now. They've forever stained themselves. <clears throat> I don't know how many years away it is. My last attempt at calculating it put it at uh, somewhere less than 10 years away. For everyone to be turned into a zombie, trudging around mindlessly. So all the... All the things that have been made public... <clears throat> Like uh, Agenda 21, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. There's no point in getting upset about it. So, as a commonplace person, let the idiots be idiots. Take care of yourself, and your family, and your friends. And prepare for what's coming. After all this... Um, bullshit with the jackasses showing their true nature to everyone is finished then after that it's gonna get a lot worse so do what you can to get ready or as um, some religious idiots might say the rapture is coming. <laughs> yeah. It's the tenth and final extinction event for the human species. That's what it is. Humanity's going extinct. Right now you're watching the social... Yeah, even politics is part of the social infrastructure. What's... What's a, what's a layman's term for infrastructure? <sighs> Fucking hell. I'm drawing a blank right here, brain. Would you mind thinking? System. That's a more simplistic word to use, but I don't think it's simple enough. No, okay. The way humanity interacts sociably. That system, that entire thing, is imploding in on itself. And it's been doing so for a long time. It's just that when Satan released that virus, it accelerated everything. So all the problems that were a symptom of another problem leading all the way back to the core problem just exploded in uh, intensity looking a lot worse and yeah the vast majority of them deserve to be blown out of proportion so that they could be seen for the legitimate and severity of which they really are how fucked up the situation really is What was it? 
back in 2018, 2019, I was watching Infinite Waters Diving Deep. That's a YouTuber. That's a YouTuber for you to go and see. He was saying that in 2020, everyone was going to have an awakening. It's, he said it was symbolic of perfect vision. I would say everyone's seeing the real problems for how fucked up they really are is an exact extension of what he was talking about. But there's even more to go. Humanity. You seeing your social and economic and political problems as horribly corrupt as they really are right now, that's just scratching the surface. That's a single snowflake resting on the tip of the iceberg. The real problem lies within the individual. Your greed, your hate-mongering, your desire to control other people born of your fear, your lack of self-control, your lack of honor, your lack of discipline, your lack of respect. I've said those things before. Don't remember when. But I have. <clears throat> so, now I've got to wait for everyone to reach the point where they see clearly that the problem isn't these political activist groups or these terrorist organizations made by the governments. It's the problem within the individual's souls and minds and hearts that has given rise to this symptom of a symptom of a symptom of a real problem that's going on. Maybe I'm saying it too early. Yeah, I've got a bad habit of doing that. But I'm impatient. I don't like waiting for people to wake up and see their own flaws and make the effort to change them. And that problem has caused me to lose people I care about, friends, a few family members. It's caused me a lot of loss. But now I've lost so much that it's just another day to me. It's just another thing. There's, there's no more psychological and emotional attachment. Just why bother? Yeah, I know. That's textbook fucking depression. <laughs> but either way, you want to look at it, whether it's just not caring about it or being depressed about it. Either way. Oh no, you all don't have to deal with my problems. I shouldn't have even bothered saying that. No, don't be all sympathetic for me. Don't worry about it. You worry about your own problems. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a few YouTube channels you can go to for some inspiration on how to just address your own problems. Infinite Waters Diving Deep, After School, uh, what was it, there was like three or four others that I just can't remember right now. Fuck. But just start with taking a deep breath, sitting down, and letting your mind ease off the bare bones minimum of meditation just sit quietly and let all the thoughts in your head go silent don't fuss with them don't fidget with them 
let them flow out of your mind. That's a good start. Then somewhere tomorrow or something, you can start preparing for what's coming. I think I've wasted enough time. If you wouldn't mind being so kind as to use the links in the description for PayPal, Patreon, whatever, throw in some fallacy credit my way so I can get really drunk and do stupid things in video games. Because that's just all I want to do. Yeah, that's pretty much all I want to do. Till next time, toodles.